let's explore the sound workflow or lack thereof in Adobe Animate. Tip tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to TipTot and to Intro to Adobe Animate 2021. In this episode we talk about working with sound and whether you should really in Adobe Animate. The sound options for Animate are fairly limited as it's intended for a trigger based sound system for things like flash games and web adverts. Working with sound in the timeline is simple enough but can quickly become unwieldy, so here's what I recommend. If you're working with a lip sync or want to add simple sound effects to your animation, then Adobe Animate is perfect for that. That's what it's designed for. But I would recommend using something like Premiere Pro, a video and audio editing software, if you want complex audio. For example, in this project I made previously, I did the lip sync audio in Adobe Animate, then did the rest of the audio editing in Premiere Pro. As you can see, it gets pretty complicated and you have much more powerful audio editing tools in Premiere when compared to Animate. With that in mind, let's explore the audio options you do have in Animate by adding some simple sound effects to our scene. Number 7. Working with sound Okay, so here we are inside Debbie Animate and we're going to try and add some sound, specifically some grunts, uh, as our character hits the floor or twice each loop, which should be quite easy. Um, so a few things to set up before we start adding sounds. I like to put all of my sounds on their own layer. Uh, basically the way it works is wherever you place a keyframe, you can add a sound at that. Oh, my light just went out. Uh, well, it still looks okay. That's fine. You can place a keyframe at that um, location and add a sound to it. And the sound will continue to play uh, until it finishes, essentially. So, for example, I could find the point where my character impacts, which just happens to be the correct frame there, and find the next point where he impacts again, like so and I'd place my two sounds upon those two keyframe points. If I go to my library, I can import my sounds um, by just going to the folder where I've kept them. And I have four various type of grunts here. .wavs or .mp3s will work fine. And I'll just drag them into my library and I can play them. Or. 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 And as you can see, we have our four different uh, grunts there which is quite useful. So I'm just going to pick one of my grunts uh, and clicking on the keyframe, just going to drag it into my stage. Let's choose grunt one. And you'll notice that you can see the waveform or of that sound as it plays. Now, if when you hit enter and it plays and it doesn't make a sound, that's because your properties of your sounds aren't correct. If you go to your properties panel with the keyframe selected, you'll see it has sound here. You can also swap out for any of the other sounds that you want. So if I change it to grunt three, or you'll see it have a different, um, oh, excuse me, a different uh, audio file in there now. And I can just position up because obviously there's a little bit of a delay or in our audio. If you can't see that, it's because your event isn't set to stream. Your sync needs to be on stream because event, start and stop are all for when we're making interactive flash content, which we're not doing here, we're just making animation. So it has to be set to stream. Repeat will be set to none. And there's all sorts of effects you can do. Like, for example, forcing it to go to the left or right channel, having it fade from the left to the right. Or so it'll go like from the left ear to the right ear uh, and back again. Uh, as our character staying in the middle of the screen, obviously it needed to be none. But you can also set it to fade in or fade out if you've got a longer um, audio clip. Now, this is pretty much the full extent of audio control that you get in Adobe Animate. So it's not super powerful, which is why I recommend if you're doing lots of audio to do it outside of the system. And let's just watch by hitting control enter. Okay, so would I actually include these? Probably not, but we're doing a tutorial on them. Last few things to check is to go to file and publish settings and make sure that your audio stream is set to a high quality. Now, by default, these, these days, it is set to MP3, 150 kilobytes per second, which is fine. If yours is sounding compressed, however, you can select this here and just choose raw. And that means that whatever audio quality goes in will be the audio quality that you get out. Hit OK, and it will change over. And you'd want that to do it just for both audio streams and audio events as well. What stream also does is that if you are playing a large Swift file, um, and it lagged a little bit, it would lag the audio too. Whereas if it was set to an event, it wouldn't actually lag the audio. Some hangups from old flash days. So that's pretty much all there is actually to it. You can add audio onto your own layers. You can scrub through. 
which is how you do lip sync. And if you're interested in doing lip sync, then I do have a tutorial on lip syncing, which I will link to with a card in the top right corner now. Um, but we don't obviously have any lip sync for this animation. So thank you very much for watching. Very quick one this time around. And uh, hopefully I'll see you next time for, I think, camera options. And then after that is the last episode, which is learning how to export everything that we've made. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time on Tip Tup. An absolutely massive thank you to my level two and above members, WN62, Anonymous, Melem Hoover, Maybe Sharma, Ralaga M, Ian Costello, Deshant Singe, Lone Wolf 16, Starry Tichi, Katmar, and JK Digital Creations. You guys are super duper awesome, lovely people. And I love you. Hey, everybody else, I love you too. But if you become a member of the Tip Tut Zone, you not only get access to exclusive perks, shout outs and design feedback, but you also become a tip titan and get to use that dope ass emoji on live streams and in comments. So do it. OK, you become a tip titan is awesome. I love you. Bye. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks and tutorials. Thanks for watching.